morning friends. I am decluttering and reorganizing today. I'm very much looking forward to this because there are areas of my house that I've been putting off for quite some time and today you and I are gonna tackle it together. But first I'm gonna drink my matcha, hop on my Slack and email, kind of get the lay of the land before I start documenting that process. I had a really strange dream last night and so I really want to like look this thing up. Basically my friends and I got together last night and we were talking about those question card games where you ask each other questions and you have like deep conversations. So I had a dream that we were playing that game and one of the questions was, what's the most romantic song? And for some reason, the wedding singer came into my brain. This is in my dream. I had not thought of the wedding singer movie with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore in years. Like I don't remember the last time I ever thought of that movie. So in my dream, my answer was the song that Robbie sings to her on the airplane. I'll let you hold the remote control. <laughs> so, I just have to watch that scene before I start my work day because I swear I had sung it in my head for four hours, but it probably wasn't as long as I thought it was. But in my dream, I had basically been playing it in my head from like 3 a.m. till 7 a.m. But that's probably not true. But yeah, so that was my dream. So now I'm gonna look it up. The Wedding Singer. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. I love Drew Barrymore. Maybe that's why I thought of it. I, I've been watching a lot of Drew Barrymore, her as like a talk host interviewing people, and she is such a beautiful person. Her soul, like she just feels safe. And I just love the way she holds space for the people that she interviews. So. The wedding singer. I wanna grow old with you. Yes! Oh my god. Okay, let's watch it. Too much to drink. To grow old with you. I wanna watch that movie now. before we moved in about six months ago so it's definitely time let's see this is what it looks like Ooh. honestly not too bad not too bad at all you're probably thinking I'm gross for not wearing gloves but that's me <laughs> told me a little hack. She told me to put a little bit of olive oil on our dishwasher and it should help with like water spots. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, first I should probably wipe it down. Maybe I didn't put enough. Hey! Looks 
very beautiful. After I finish eating, I'm gonna tackle the media console. I'm really excited to show you guys. We were gonna do this elaborate built-in media cabinet with a woodworker and blah, 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 and it was gonna cost thousands of dollars, but then he kept ghosting us and kept pushing us back. Like for months, he kind of like strung us along from October till January. And he like actually like never told us that he couldn't do it. He just kept trying to push us back and push us back. And I'm like, dude, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So we were like, let's just cut ties. He's a really talented guy. I wish it worked out, but actually I take that back. I'm glad it didn't work out because I love what we're doing more. We ended up going with Ikea, thanks to Pinterest. The creativity of Pinterest, man. There's so many cool ideas on there. But ultimately, the dimensions of our living room little like, whatever that's called, nook, it was the perfect fit for two bestas side by side. So we decided to mount that. I'll show you in a bit. But the doors arrived today. I don't know if Andrew's gonna be down to install it today. I feel like every time something has to be built, I'm like, let's do it right now. Let's stop everything we're doing and do it. And he's the only one that I can actually do the project because I hate following directions. I'm really bad at all that. So me building Ikea is just like, no, not even gonna happen. So anyways, I wanna organize the media cabinet and organize the cords and everything in there. So that way, when the doors arrive, we just pop it on as if it were that easy. And then we can just chill and it'll be so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna finish eating. This is our new media cabinet that Andrew installed. He mounted it to the wall. It was not an easy task because our studs in the wall didn't line up with where Ikea put the little wimpy brackets. I'll try to explain very simply. We put a piece of wood across the wall and then we screwed in to where our studs in the wall lined up and then from there we mounted the cabinet to the wood. So the wood across the wall is now like our stud and that gave us more flexibility and it's pretty sturdy. It's a little messy on the inside, but if we want, we could put the backings in, but we'll have to kind of cut it a little bit. Anyways, I don't know if I want to do all that. So in any case, I'm going to organize all this stuff and get it ready for the doors to arrive. I think the doors are really pretty. I was shocked that they came from Ikea. I'm really grateful that it came from Ikea because that saved us on having to do stuff. <laughs> Looney, she just wants to put it. And I just want a coffee. Do you want a coffee too? Do you like coffee? <laughs> And one other thing, we have to sadly remount the TV. Oh, 
it never fails. Somehow measurements are always like just ever so slightly off. Every house we've moved into, we've had to remount the TV at least twice. So second time's a charm. I know Andrew has more games than that, but I don't know where they are, so that's it. <laughs> Made a delicious little snack plate. This is what I've been enjoying in the afternoons in between lunch and dinner. And I've got some coffee still. The door is arrived! It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Oh, I'm excited. Gonna look good, girls. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Yeah. Y'all are always asking about my couch covers and wondering what it is but it's literally just a king size blanket from Target. I bought two of these and I'm gonna show you how I wrap it on my couch to make it look like it's part of it. Oh, I'm like matching, of course. Me and my neutrals. All right, here we go. How I tuck the blankets in, and it looks really good, I think. Let's take this off for you. This is probably my new favorite place in the house. It feels so cozy and calming. I feel very at peace right now and I'm just so happy to have it done. It turned out so much better than I could have imagined and I love it so much more than our original plan. I'm really glad that things didn't work out with the custom route and that the Besta ended up fitting perfectly within our space because this saved us thousands of dollars. This entire Besta system was around $890 with the doors and then the rest of it was Andrew and his labor <laughs> of installing it. Yeah, I just really love how it came together. The picture of the cactus is definitely temporary. It's more for sizing, but obviously the picture is supposed to go horizontally and I just flipped it on its side for the sake of figuring out what I wanna put up here. But I think this looks and feels really damn good and I'm really happy with it. So if you guys have any questions, if you're trying to up level your entertainment area and you're trying to do it on a budget and you still want it to look really good and elevated, definitely recommend this best to set up. These doors are the birch veneer doors from Ikea and I really love how it turned out. I also wanted to say that I think what really also helped elevate this space was the LED light strips. We got these stick-on LED light strips from Best Buy. The brand's called Wiz. They also, Philips Hue 
has a light strip. There's a lot of different light strips on the internet. It's literally just a 3M strip that we peel off and stick to the top of the cap to under the cabinet and we control it with our phone. I have it set on a timer to turn on around 5 p.m. and to turn off around 11 p.m. and I love it. And it's also great if we are leaving the house at night and we forget to turn the lights on for the dogs. Now this will turn on and we won't feel bad about leaving them here in the dark. Right now the color is on daylight, but you can also change it to like candlelight and just make it feel really cozy. You can make it purple, blue, orange, whatever you want. Right now it's about 4.20. The daylight is a good hue for this time of day. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Thanks for organizing, cleaning, setting all this up with me. I'm gonna go cook dinner. We found a really delicious tikka masala recipe that we've been making and I just got an immersion blender. So I'm really pumped to use that. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!